Hey shooters, quick new product video for you. Um, this is something I saw and I picked up from a company called Mischief Machine, mischiefmachine.com there. And what it is, it's a, um, it's a rail mount for what, what they call their EDC lights. Um, and so this is a little Streamlight uh, ProTac uh, the little single cell version that, you know, you can get for $39 on Amazon. Well, you know, they're decently bright enough for to throw on a, a, something cheap, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a hundred lumens or so. So anyway, my problem was that the body is a little smaller than any other light. So this is just a cheap knockoff uh, mount from Amazon or something. And what I was having to do was having to cut a piece of rubber and basically fill the space. Well, this company has come out with ones that are made for this size light. And this one is a nylon version. They also have, you know, the, I think it's aluminum, you know, the actual metal version, but this is just a little cheap beater rifle this is on. So I'm gonna put this on, uh, I'm gonna take this off and install it in this and I'll show you. And, and I'm gonna shoot a little bit. We'll see how it uh, holds up over time, but uh, be right back after the jump. All right, so here we go. Let's put this in on. I got the, uh, the rubber spacer taken off. I went ahead and took the tail cap off as well. So it looks like the nylon, they've got a couple of, uh, a couple of nuts right down in there that are you know, used to catch the threads. Also, I noticed it's got a little milled channel in there, and I think that's for that channel right there on the light body. So uh, let's, uh, let's hope it don't break, which it's not supposed to. So let's, yep, that is. So I felt it lock into that little channel right there. Uh, of course, it comes with the screws you needed. It comes with the, the set of uh, key mod, or I think they offer M-Lock too. This, this rifle happens to be old key mod, so we'll tighten it up. Cinch it down. I think this is gonna work a whole lot better than the, the, the rigged version. Oh yeah, that's very tight in there, very solid. Okay, looks like I need a new battery in that thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the, uh, the key mods on. Get that lined up right. Put my way. You see on the back, it's got a key mod, um, an, an indexing point there. in here so it needs to go that way that way all right so I did figure out something uh, their screws need to be a hair longer um, I they're just not quite long enough for the this this indexing tab here to clear so fortunately i had you know i've got a ton of uh, machine screws that are four rails so that's what i had to do i had to grab a set of my screw uh, a couple of my screws and uh and then it will let it go and uh once i get everything lined up it will let it go and drop on there just fine just got to get everything started there we go so i felt it drop in there and then we'll tighten them up see how it goes okay right. I'll snug them up here in a second but there she is uh, very solid feeling you know I've got it right there so I just reach up and push you know when I with my grip I'll just reach up and push forward uh, but so far, hey, that's going to work great. A uh, lot better than uh, the, what I had rigged up last time. So Mischief Machine is the company. Uh, this is, again, the polymer version. Um, give them a shout. Thanks for watching.